I've been wanting to like, I'm, I don't, you don't know me, I'm Katie Nehoff, um, awesome. but I've seen nice. you on Creative Live and like, oh, you're man. awesome. I reached out to you on um, Instagram, I'm Michaela. Michaela. Great to meet so you. So nice to meet you, yeah. how are you? So we're about to head to the entrance, registration, my talk is in less than half an hour. I've hardly, hardly had any sleep, but uh, I'm super excited. Uh, the jet lag, the excitement, makes for a pretty good combo. Here we go, AIGA 2016. But I brought you guys some snacks from Australia. <laughs> Tim Tams, do you guys know this? It's Australia's favorite biscuit. This is just for you, no one in the conference is getting these. <laughs> oh, you're a person with a crazy weird imagination. Unreal. Cool. Um, guys, in this table, anyone want to share you know, who you are? What do you, what do you want? You're a perpetual student. Love it. Continuous learning. Amazing. Sir, anything you want to share? Yeah, unreal. Are you an instructor or a teacher yourself? or Art director. Great. Amazing. Probably a mentor too to a lot of the up-and-comers. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, mother, wife, teacher. Okay, really important. Um, now, the reason why we do this, and again, you, can, you should do this in detail, is because if you don't know what you want, you don't know where you're going. It's as simple as that. The other part two to all this is that what got you here right now won't get you there. Next thing, so we need to cultivate more information. We need to be around people that have done what we ultimately want to do. It is it is a lifestyle. It is the way in which you see the world and experience the world. I can guarantee you, it's more than the kerning and the letting and the pretty stuff because what you actually experience is, that could have been better. Well, it's true, right? No one, no one taught us how to meet someone or how to build rapport in any capacity. So um, that's what we're gonna cover a lot of right now through that. I get all my job offers from LinkedIn um, because it really is so easy to access your information. It requires strategy. You can't just be posting your coffee all the time. I know that's cliche, but you just can't. You have to be knowing that your online presence is a reflection of every touch point that you have. So are you posting stuff? Who's posting stuff about the conference already? Only half. Right, so this is what I'm saying. You can use those hashtags, AIGA. Now I've divided these two columns because I think that on the left, that's where most employers hang out. So you, you need this as well for credibility. This is the thing that, the funniest thing that I always get is um, where people are like, oh, um, I'm really passionate about design. And when I'm interviewing them and I look at their Instagram or, you know, there's an authenticity to this, isn't there? It's just like um, how we love reviews on Yelp and TripAdvisor because we feel that they've got a presence, they've got authority. Um, uh, breakfast lecture series, um, as some of you guys may be a part of, and meetup.com is another one. I remember I was at the gym and um, there was a guy who I would always see and we just kind of nod to each other and say, you know, g'day mate, nice to see you. We'd always train at the same time and one time he saw me struggling, um, which is almost every day, but um, <laughs> he, he was like, oh, you need a hand there, mate? And I'm like, I'm like no, I'm, I'm good. And he's like, but the bar's on your neck. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sweet. <laughs> so what's the first step to meeting someone face to face? What do you say? Anyone? Bingo. Yeah, great questions from both of you guys. And you got to do the dance. You got to play the tango. And um, I think the main thing is when you have got your foot in the door, it gets easier. It really, really does. Let's get real, they're humans. Let's speak to them as humans. Don't speak to them as like robot creative directors. Who's had some success, who's had some troubles, frustrations with writing an email. Day of the week, okay, now we're getting really serious. Um, yes, there is a day of the week. <laughs> yeah, they are happy on Friday. So, so some of us have seen some of those stats. Um, I personally think that Tuesday and Wednesday, and, and that's worked really well for me. Monday is just way too crazy. Don't make it forced but follow up with a conversation starter, essentially. You're just looking for a tiny thing to not go into the interview formalities straight away. And it's just this thing about being a people person that they don't teach us. It's that charisma. This painting that we create, just like our life story, is gonna be a work of art. 
When I started seeing life this way, it had a profound impact on the way that I lived my life. I started living more consciously, more deliberately. And on your journey of creating and changing and evolving, allow that childlike spirit to continuously be curious. Be curious about everything. This is what it is about being a designer. Never let that childlike spirit die inside of you. Have fun, be brave, and remember that even though it may seem like it's all been done before, it hasn't been done by you. Thank you so much. So we're off to get some food now. It is midday. Workshop was a success, I hope. Um, very re receptive audience. Um, quick bite and then we're going to be in time for the keynote main stage action. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to you. got a session? You got a session? I've just finished oh, just um, had? a three hour workshop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how'd it go? Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, win the job you want yeah. and helping uh, 25 you people that uh, yeah. you know, want to do that. Good, good. Well, uh, you had a regular so enterprise. So, yeah, it was good. It was good. Got my pass, we're about to go into the design fair. It is awesome. Come take a look with me. Ta da! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's right, yes, That's right. This is awesome. Look at this design fair. I know. We'll have a bit of a wonder. Alright. How to get a mentor. <laughs> Stanley, Stanley Hainsworth! Stanley Hainsworth! Um, how are you? I'm good, I'm doing really good. I love this hair. Yeah. I, I've got, I've got yeah. this one. And this is like the opposite yeah. of each other, right. you know? So I've just taken you guys through to the design fair. We're going into the main stage uh, where the keynotes are about to begin. Come take a look inside. Good. Front row seats. Front row. Love it. Are you speaking? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm just attending, attending. Love it, love it. You have to attend these things, you know. Steve Frickham, guys. Steve Frickham. It's 3.22 right now on day one of the conference, um, and I've just bumped into Rick Raffay, Steve Frickham, uh, Stanley Hainsworth. Uh, I, I saw... Um, uh, you know, Michael Beirut walking around, um, David Carson, you know, these legends of the industry. And uh, I was just thinking, that is so priceless. You know, it's, um, it's certainly something that is an investment of your time and energy and money. But when else are you going to get all these design greats in one place? It's Mike Rigby, the Mike Rigby himself. Yay! What's up, brother? So good to see you. Yeah, you do. YouTuber. The, the one and only. One and only. We are in the middle of this amazing space. It's cool they got coffees out, right? Gemma O'Brien. Hi. The Gemma <laughs> O'Brien. Fellow Aussie. I think there's snacks over there, so we'll like. Sustenance. So good. Where have you been all my life? Mexican food. <laughs> she does. Oh my god. 
I love it. I, I want to learn how to be a designer. You know what? Well, I learned this from him. <laughs> awesome, Keeping man. really busy and working on amazing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, man. Thank you. Thanks again. I appreciate you. So look, the book signing was a huge success. There were a lot of people that came up to me and shared their story and um, it is the end of day one here at the AIJ conference. Unfortunately, I can't stay for day three, uh, two and three. Uh, I've got to continue on the tour. There we go. We are finally uh, complete with today's activities here at the hotel. Um, I don't really know what to say, I'm super grateful um, and time to recharge, I think it's important. With these tours it can get quite draining, especially when you're travelling from Sydney, right? It can be uh, very much a tiring jet lag experience um, mixed with so many emotions, excitement and um, it's important to uh, keep the nutrition going, to keep the rest going when you can, but um, you know what, this is my second tour and I certainly haven't gotten the hang of it. <laughs> I'm learning as I go, uh, just like with everything else that I've kind of dabbled into, you know, my second book was an improvement from my first in terms of how to launch the podcast as well. Um, you learn as you go and uh, if that's something that I can leave you with, especially during this uh, little video that uh, we've put together for you, um, then I think uh, that makes me really happy. So it's time for me to rest up and I will see you guys on the next trip, on the next video. Ciao.